Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. So here we see the cart product notifier and this looks for a product ID. The product ID as we work on this, so it's gonna get the product ID and update the UI as you can see over here. So it updates the UI. Now this part has been done using Riverpod, this cart product notifier. Now we wanna do it using Qubit and at the same time we want to learn the similarities between Riverpod and Qubit because personally I think Riverpod and Qubit are very similar so if you are Riverpod background then actually you can use Qubit or if you already know Qubit you can also learn Riverpod so let me show you so the first thing I'm going to do over here this extend over here this one so it creates a provider for us using this class so we're going to remove this so let's go ahead and remove this. Here we are going to have Qubit, but you need to make sure that your Flutter block package is installed. All right, and then what type to extend over here inside the Qubit itself? Now that part actually we're gonna get from here, the build method. We see that the build method returns a list. A list of what? A list of strings. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and put it here, okay? So you can understand, like over here, the type inheritance, a type reference, just like the build method over here. Okay, so with this, we can actually remove this, fine. And then it'll throw in another error. And it wants you to call a uh, super class constructor. So just like build method over here, we have to pass null over here. So let's go ahead and first call super class constructor and pass actually empty string, not null. Okay, right, so you see the error is gone. So with this, we do see that the build method, the qubit takes the type, the same as our build method. And then how about this one? Actually, this part is pretty easy. Now, since we are using qubit, so instead of having assigned this state variable to this state so we can actually emit the state and how to do that yeah, it's pretty easy we're gonna just take this part from here and then you know put inside this and that's all okay so in the river pod you get to assign the complete state variable and if you have something new you insert into that one you assert into that one and assign to the state variable over here so that's how it works now everything else should work like this so I'm going to take this and then here I'm going to emit like this and so as you see they are very similar so that's why I feel like that Riverpod and Qubit if you know how to write them correctly so they would be very similar all right Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this. We don't need this. Now with this, our qubit is ready, okay? And then what about this part? So we're going to remove both of this. We don't need any of them now. And in fact, we also don't need this Riverpod annotation package. So we can remove this. And then, now let's come over here. Now we do see that we have few errors, but that's of course in different places we are using the Riverpod provider so we don't need to use them anymore so we're gonna replace all these places using qubit so let's go ahead and do that okay so one of the options that over here we're going to have is this one now we do see that we have few errors so let's go and fix them now earlier it was like ref.watch and you got it and you use it right but of course we don't have it so well, we are going to actually remove this using context. So instead of ref, we are going to use uh, context. And instead of watch over here, we are going to use read. And then instead of this getting this notify provider, we're going to actually call this cart notify, this class. So as you can see, they are so similar, right? Uh, and then I'm going to get the state object then I don't need this last part so I can comment that out. All right. 
Okay, now the our now our error is gone. So that's the first error that we have solved. Just to remind you one more time, since we are learning the similarities. So here, ref is replaced by context, watch is replaced by read, and this is your provider. In our case, this is our qubit, and then we of course have to get the state because ref dot watch returns a state. All right, so now let's go ahead over here. The same thing, right? So what we could do, we can just simply go ahead and copy this in all these places. And then we are going to so it's just simple replacing so our arrow has been sold over here and the same thing over here so it is trying to read the notifier provider and uh, pass a product ID right so here we're going to exactly do the same whatever we have copied we're gonna put here and then beautiful so it should make sense to you that how things work one more time so let me help you get through it quickly so ref context read read and this is our qubit this is our provider now since we are calling a method they need a notifier but in our case we are just using this one and also you may wonder then what is this notifier and how it is same as qubit now do remember if we go to qubit uh, here we have emit state right so emit uh, emit function so you can understand this notifier is same as emitting okay so every time you need to call a river pod function then you have to call this notifier right so this is same as exactly this emit so that's how the similarities work so it's easy if you're learning between qubit and riverpod you will find that it's super easy all right so now let's go to our toggle button over here and we might have uh, one or two issues so looks like there are a lot of errors so i'm going to be quick and replace them so that i don't need to explain it anymore i think i have already explained the basic stuff So now upon restarting, it gets this error. It says that cart notify provider is not found about this cart view. So of course, uh, this is a new qubit or block, so we need to inject it. So let's go ahead and do that. So as we actually boot up our app over here, so let's go ahead and inject it. So over here, also block provider and create. And here we're gonna call cart notifier provider cart notifier provider and we need to invoke it and okay so now let's go ahead and restore it so we have another place that we need to inject it the reason is because our app might be using this uh, cart notifier provider throughout this uh, lifecycle in many different places so we need to keep it always in the memory and since we are using SL so over here we're going to inject it with register factory and then over here we're gonna call it category cart notifier provider okay. so now we see that everything is available so we can reduce the number and we can update the screen and we can reduce again we can update the screen we can increase we can update if we want to delay it we can remove the item so that's how it works all right so the idea is it's very easy to replace river pod with qubit or qubit with river pod so all you need to take care of the build method and how the build method returns and instead of assigning state to state you need to use emit and then since we are using qubit so we need to inject it in two different places in when you boot up your app within this multi-block provider 
and at the same time you also need to find it in your inject controller where you inject all of your dependencies 